بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم So it mentions right فحملته فانتبذت به مكانا قصيا when she was ready to give birth she went to a far off place away from the people فاجاءها المخاض الى جذع النخله when she started to get the pangs of childbirth she went to under a tree which is a date palm tree and she laid there she laid there to give birth and she started started to say qalat ya laytani mittu qabla hadha wa kuntu nasiyan mansiya she says oh if only i would die before this would happen and if only i would be forgotten and nobody would even know who i am how can i face people with this shame and this is showing the sign right this is teaching us brothers and sisters that for women at one time their chastity their honor and their dignity and their womanhood was something which was greater to them than life it was more honorable to them than life itself that for a woman to be accused of an illicit relationship for a woman to be accused of adultery or fornication this was worse for her than death here maryam is saying that oh no i'm giving birth people are going to accuse me they're going to blame me and i'm a pure woman i'd rather die before this and i'd rather not even be known amongst mankind this is the value of chastity and in in this day and age it's become so cheap it's become so cheap in this day and age that a woman and this is freedom of women right that a woman is 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 used nowadays a woman is used to sell a toothpick a tire of a car right to sell a a a a magazine to sell anything women are used because they know that sex sells right so put a really nice attractive woman on the cover and it'll sell a packet of cigarettes is that the price that you put on women packet of cigarettes is that what she's worth that a person is going to see that beautiful woman right and say wow you know that beautiful woman that cigarette really goes together i want to buy that is this the value of women This is not the value of women in this deen. The value of women in the chastity is given such an honor that it is not in any way shape or form permissible that a woman should be used for something so cheap as this. So she says, "Qalat ya laytani mittu qabla hadha wa kuntu nasiyan mansiya." If only I would die before this and I would be forgotten. Right? Fanadaha min tahtiha alla tahzani. She heard a voice that said, "Don't grieve." Allah has has especially uh, made for you a river that's flowing. So there was a spring that was flowing near, near her. Wahuzi ilayki bijiz in nakhla and shake this date palm tree. Just shake it a little bit and the dates will fall from you so that you can eat from that. There was a spring of water that Allah made for her. Right? And there was a tree. I mean, you have to go and climb the tree and get the dates, but Allah made it so easy that this was also a miracle that all she needed to do is just shake it a little bit and the dates would fall by the permission of Allah for her to eat and Allah Ta'ala told her right faqul faquli washrabi wa qarri ayna eat and drink from this and be contented don't worry fa imma tarayinna min al-bashari ahadan and if you see anybody from amongst mankind from amongst bashar right faquli inni nadhartu lir-rahman sawma then if anybody comes and tries to say anything to you then just make an indication that i am fasting i am fasting and the fasting of the people of the past is that they would not eat or drink and they would not speak at all either that was the fasting of the people of before they wouldn't eat they wouldn't drink and they wouldn't speak either so tell them that i am fasting i cannot speak and this is a when when this is a beautiful example and this is that those sisters of ours that when they submit themselves for the sake of Allah and they submit themselves to the decree of Allah Allah has commanded for a woman to wear hijab there's no difference of opinion about this no matter whatever people say for a woman to cover herself and to wear the scarf and to wear the hijab this is something which is the command it's part of this deen every muslim woman has to do that and this is the command of Allah taala and a woman when she submits there's a great lesson in the story of maryam for for us especially for the sisters that when you submit yourself to Allah then put your trust in Allah don't worry about the fact that oh what what are people going to say about me now if i start wearing the hijab if i start covering myself what are people going to say 
People are gonna put me down. People are gonna make fun of me. You know? And also, right? Look at the trust that she had. If anyone says anything, I am not going to speak to anybody for amongst mankind. Allah Ta'ala, I am fasting. I have no nothing to say. And she put her trust in Allah and she's carrying this baby, carrying this child. Imagine a girl who grew up in the most purest environment and she grew up with chastity and piety and righteousness and she comes with this child in front of the people and these people are super like, you know, they're ready to accuse and ready to put allegations on you. So she's coming with this child in front of the whole tribe and in front of the whole people. And what did they say to her? They said, Ya Maryam, لَقَدْ جِئْتِ شَيْءً فَرِيَّةً You've come with a very great sin. What did you do? Ya Ukhta Harun, Oh sister of Harun. She had a brother who was Harun, a very pious person. He said, Oh, your, your brother is Harun. He's such a pious person. مَا كَانَ أَبُوكَ مْرَأَ سَوْئٍ Your father was not an evil man. That you ended up like this. You're going and you're doing stuff like this and now you're coming with this baby. وَمَا كَانَتْ أُمُّكِ بَقِيَّةً And neither was your woman a bad... Was your, your, your mother a bad woman? Where are you coming out like this? How did this happen? So then, فَأَشَارَتْ إِلَيْهِ She put her trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is what all the sisters, when you put your trust in Allah and you want to obey His commandment and fulfill His decree, don't fear anybody in the commandment of Allah. Put your trust in Him and Allah ta'ala will make, Allah will make miracles happen. You will see that those people that are your enemies, Allah will satisfy them. And Allah will make them, Allah will silence them.